Good morning, brothers and sisters. Um, I am outside on this beautiful morning, and since I'm outside and I don't see a lot of other people around, I think I can dispense with the mask. Oh, I never knew in my wildest dreams how fulfilling and freeing it would be to take off a mask. But boy, it is just a beautiful thing, isn't it? Um, so this morning I want to talk with you a little bit. Uh, this is sort of part two of a video I did uh, a few weeks back. And the, the title of that particular one was Misery is Optional. Got a lot of feedback on that one. That seemed to really resonate with folks. And it made me start to wonder, is there a little bit more to that that people want to hear or perhaps need to hear? Well, I'm not sure if you want to hear it, but if you're tuned in, you're going to have to hear it anyway. So apologies in advance. If you missed that particular one, the idea is that misery is not something that we are required to deal with. You can't necessarily change the situations in which you find yourself, but you can change the way you react and respond to them. And so when I tell you that misery is optional, what I'm really saying is don't choose misery as your core response. Now, I think what I've heard from several folks is, well, okay, that, Rick, that sounds great, but how do I do that? I don't want to embrace the misery, but how do I not? The world is in such terrible shape right now. Everywhere I look, things seem like they're getting worse every day and not better. How do I not opt for the misery? Well, my friends, take heart. There are some strategies to do just that. One of the things I will share with you, um, so I've embarked upon a, uh, a bit of a weight loss program and uh, there's a particular app that I'm using called Noom and uh, they really help you with that. I'm not asking, I'm not saying that because I want you to brag on me and I'm not really, but my point is this, Noom instills a discipline upon you about how to lose weight, but one of the things they give you throughout that process is permission to take a day off when you need it. That's one of the ways I'm gonna suggest you choose not to opt for the misery. Give yourself permission to take a day off. Give yourself permission to create a day that is CNN free or Fox News free or whatever brand of media you choose to consume because I assure you, my friends, watching those and consuming a steady diet of those is a way to embrace misery, not to avoid it. So give yourself chances to get away from that stuff. The second thing I'm gonna tell you is, look for a different ratio of positivity and negativity. I think we're all pretty much comfortable that we're dealing with a lot of negativity right now, aren't we? You look at Facebook, you look at the media, you. you just look at what's going on in the world and it's so easy to get bound to this concept of negativity. Everything seems negative, but that is not the case. Look at this beautiful day we have here. I am looking at this brilliant sunshine. There is a slight breeze. There are just some nice wispy clouds, which in Las Vegas we don't take for granted because we don't get them all that often. There is beauty in everything, my friends. And so here's what I'm gonna suggest to you. Try to give yourself, for every negative thought, try to give yourself three positive thoughts. Okay, you don't wanna wear the mask, I get that. No one likes the mask, they're not fun, but give yourself permission to say, you know what, for every breath I take with a mask on, I can also be outside in this beautiful air and take a breath without. I can feel the breeze on my face. I can see the beautiful clouds out there. So look for that three to one ratio and you'll be amazed how that power of positivity can really impact who and what you are. Don't opt for misery. It's not what we are. It's not who we're supposed to be. Jesus never once in the gospels tells us, be miserable for life is all bad. No, that's not it at all. What Jesus tells us is life is good and you are loved. So rest comfortably in that love. 
don't opt for misery, opt instead for joy. For if you are a person of joy, nothing's going to bring you down. Put aside the things that are causing you to be miserable, focus on the good parts, and I assure you, my friends, your attitude will change. May God bless you this day and always. Know that you are loved, know that you are important, and know that you were made not for misery, but for joy. May God bless you.